what up how's it going shout out to brazil salve today we got one that i'm very much interested into this will be my first time listening to hearing reacting to brazilian reggae yo listen to me this so fire because this like somebody said it earlier they said brazil is like megazord because this the diaspora just collecting back together like you know what i mean and so for me this is gonna be interesting because growing up this is one of the uh this is one of the genres that like we listened to a lot growing up whether it was roots or dance hall right uh so today i'm reacting to edson gomez all I think I said that right. I'm not sure, but I want to see this. I want to see this take on reggae. You know what I mean? Like I can't, I won't say I can't imagine it because it seems like it go together. Yo, have y'all ever heard the theory that the most lit countries all got yellow in their flag? Have you ever heard that theory? The most lit countries. Think about it. But before we begin, let me give a shout out to Brain Fart Subtitles. Brain Fart Subtitles is the one that allows me to communicate with y'all by providing subtitles to all my reactions and also translating some of the songs that I react to. I see a lot of y'all in the comment section say, hey, Goonie, you help me along with learning English. Well, if you want some more help with that to achieve that goal of learning English, Brain Fart Subtitles can help you with that. He has multiple teachers to help you along with this goal. And if you let them know that you found out about these English courses through Goonie Googles, they'll hook you up with a dope price. And you can find the contact information in the description below. Oh, hold up. Let me get my translation. Okay. Yeah! Oh, he is Rasta. Okay, okay. Come on, baby. Testing. Hey, that's fire. Hold on. So when he's saying water me mother, being a tree is symbolic and receiving care and tenderness in order to grow and progress under the sun, that's symbolic. But when he says mother, is he speaking about his physical? His... Oh, that's fire. So you're saying the Portuguese verb to water, uh, rega, sounds like reggae. So it's like a play on words, as we would say here. So it's meaning like to reggae as well. It's a, yeah, can be a physical mother or mother nature. Now I got you. I got you. So it's saying mother nature rain, rain down on me. All right. So what happened here is the literal translation. It's saying come to water me mother. I don't know why they said water me instead of saying rain. Like, I don't know why they changed it. You didn't make it better, dummy. In fact, you made it lose its essence. And you made me look like a fucking idiot in front of my Brazilian friends stupid can i say something before before we keep going 
I can't remember if I talked about this in the last live I did. I watched Bohemian Rhapsody, the biopic. It was a Patreon request. That's why I watched it, even though I generally don't like those. But they showed in the film that when Queen went to Brazil and they performed there, that's what made them realize, yo, we have to make anthems. They never received love and appreciation from a crowd like they did when they until they went to Brazil. And it changed like the course of their career because they was like, yo, we want to make music that makes that happen. That makes the crowd want to be one with us. And every video I've ever seen of the crowds with Brazilian concerts, y'all be dead ass into it. It don't matter what genre. I ain't seen one dead. Yo, I want y'all to think about all the reactions I reacted to when I reacted to something live. There ain't been one dead crowd I seen. You know what I mean? Now, a lot of it is older, right? I'm assuming today. Well, no. Even when I see videos of today, motherfuckers be lit. They don't be having a... Even if they got their phones out, they be lit. All right, let's go. I know. I, I stay doing this. <clears throat> yeah! Rasta man vibration. Come on, baby. Yeah! got the Rasta run going in full step. I can learn the words to this song. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm starting out the morning drive with this tomorrow. You already know. I love you. Now this lit to me to see reggae from Brazil, like. When it says here, when it translates and it says, I shake, I shake, I shake. Um, yeah, the, when you said it talks about um, the roots that sway, a reference that could be linked to the dreadlocks hair as well as in the roots of a tree. That's how I saw it too. That's how I, that's how I saw it. Because as he was saying that, the camera would close up on them running in place and they dreads swaying. Yeah, that was, a, that was definitely what I was thinking there. 
doing the lives and this is one of the reasons i like it part of it though is i wonder how it will look to people who just want to come and watch a reaction for me this is fun because as i'm watching it i'm trying to figure it out and because i'm getting certain lyrics that aren't translated correctly right it caused me to have to have an interaction with y'all which caused me to have to get the full understanding right and that and the, and the multiple meanings which was dope, right? It's and the rhythm is a rhythm that I, I rock with. I as I said, I listen to that type of music. Um, and I'm actually surprised how much is just it. It sounds like reggae in Portuguese. I, I how am I, how do I want to say this? I don't know what I was expecting, but yeah, it just it sounds like what I know reggae to be. Um, and then. For it to be a like an ode to Mother Nature, you know what I mean. While at the same time, it being a play on words like, because you know reggae in its sense is like praising what we are on this earth and uh, attempting to almost reverse the corruptions that have taken place, while at the same time preventing the corruptions. And when I say the corruptions, we mean by like you know they would say Babylon or by the fucking you know, those in charge and shit like that. Right. But, um, yeah, I rocked with it to see that crowd, that crowd was lit and that love and adoration. Once again, a big time artist. When I look at the songs, I see how many views they get. Of course I'm like, Oh, this is <laughs> cause all I do, I type in Edson Gomez and I believe this was the first song that came up. Right. So yeah, not only is he popular and the song is popular, he, he seems to be legendary to me, right? He's legendary, right? I'm to assume. And to see that Rastafarianism, yo, because Rastafarianism is everywhere, right? Rastafarianism is in the, everywhere. People of every race, right? Because everybody sees something in it that, like I said, it's this sense to end the corruption and to prevent, prevent it from spreading. But doing it through like, peace and love and understanding and that came out through the song and like i said the lyrics on this this may be the first uh <laughs> song in portuguese that i learned the words to right because it's simple but at the same time it has a meaning to me here so i can like carry it around does that make sense yeah i'm gonna react to some more reggae because this was interesting to me like, like i said i feel like these songs will help me learn some more portuguese 